Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a love message like no other, okay? <laughs> this reading for today, Scorpio, this is the current feelings of your person. This is the current vibe for you in terms of love, relationship, dating, or getting to know. Let me just build the vibe. Let me just bring up the frequency. This is a love reading for Scorpio. I want you to think of your person. Think of your romantic situation. Let's channel their energy and let's look into how they feel about you, how they think about you, and what is most likely their next action, okay? This is for you. In the other channel, I was singing... What's that song? Um, I think that is my theme song. Lord, I thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. What can I get for Scorpio, please? Okay, all right. You have the tower card. <laughs> this is you, Scorpio. Someone is going to break their silence. You've got the seven of cups. You know what? Okay. Let me tell you something, Scorpio. Okay. This card wanted to come out. Nine of swords. Okay. Break. Break free from overthinking. Okay. In the next three, seven days, break free from overthinking, from overanalyzing and let loose. Okay. The tower card. I'm downloading a lot of message right now. So the tower card, okay, this is a message for you. So seven of cups, the tower card, break free, let loose. If your intuition is telling you, why don't you follow up? Follow up. Break free from overthinking. Break free from overanalyzing. And let your feelings, that romantic vibe, that romantic longing, let loose. Because who knows this week? This week or the next three to seven days could be, you know, one text, one call could change the dynamic of you and your person. I really feel like, Scorpio, you want to reach out. If you want to reach out, reach out. If you want to express your feelings and be romantic, be romantic. Life is short, you know. Whatever you want to do, do it authentically. Pour your heart on it, you know. It's not about them. It's about you being letting out those feelings when you when you when you put it out there with so much love it will be reciprocated okay it's the energy that you put in your intention scorpio so uh, the tower card the seven of cups your the tower card the seven of cups this is you there is a vibe there is um, a chaos Okay, if it's not a chaos, it's more of um. you're overflowing with feelings and it's wanting to come out. It's wanting to talk to them. It's wanting to ask something. It's wanting to be romantic. Get your phone, text, call. At least you've done something instead of overanalyzing it. If you don't get a reply, if you don't get a respond, that's the respond. That's the reply. But if you feel like you wanted to connect in a physical like if your intuition is telling you follow up, follow up, ask, ask them randomly, put your intention loving, you know, you'll get a, you'll, you'll get a reaction. Okay. Just don't, don't try so hard. So that's a message for you. Let's channel, excuse me. Let's channel more vibes. Scorpio, what can I get for my Scorpio friends out there? Let's look into your person. Okay. They miss you. I feel like the person that is connected to you romantically, Scorpio, it's either you block them, you're not replying, or you had a misunderstanding or a fallout. This person miss you, but they're so weak, okay? This person is weak. This person is a little bit bitter. Also, this person miss you and sad because if things didn't, if things went wrong between the two of you, it was their fault. Okay, and that's the reason why this person, they have a lot of, you know, they have a lot of loving energy. I want to reach out. I want to text you. I want to call you. But they know that they're going to be rejected. That's probably why in the beginning of the reading, I'm kind of picking up like if you want to say hi, if you want to say hello, 
that would give them an indication that they have been forgiven. In the next three to seven days, I don't think this person will reach out to you, but you will feel their yearning. Someone miss you. Someone miss you, but they just, someone miss you, you know that. You can see that in your dreams. You can feel their vibe around you. If you go for a drive, if you go outside, you would see sign, synchronicity, and symbolism that reminds them of you. This person is very sad. This person is very lonely. This person is very disappointed to themselves for hurting you. And that's the reason why they wouldn't call, they wouldn't text, is because they know what's the point. They're going to be rejected. They haven't really forgiven themselves yet. You know, they still feel very low vibe. They're very sad. So if you make a move to them, it will make them very, very happy. It will make them feel like, okay, um, Scorpio is ready to forgive me. They're going to put 100% effort, Scorpio. So if you're resonating with me, one text, one call could change this dynamic. Again, if you're ready to forgive and forget. Yeah, three of swords, look at that. This is the pain and the hurt. They cost you three of swords. They feel that now. It's more of what's the point of reaching out. You know, I like this person. How do I say this, Scorpio? It's more of, it's a person who I betrayed Scorpio. Scorpio loved me. Scorpio supported me. Scorpio liked me. And all I did was to disappoint you. Shame on me for betraying my Scorpio. That's why this person like, they can't. Maybe in the future, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this person pull themselves together and have courage and be brave to reach out and say sorry and apologize. But right now, in the next three seven days, it's more of a no. But they yearn. Um, if they don't reach out or call or text, it's because it's a person who I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I've disappointed you, and I want to reach out. But I'm still embarrassed. I'm ashamed. That's the vibe. It's not about they don't like to call you or text you. Um, it's more of they're guilty. And for as long as they feel guilty, they will yearn. They will just manifest you that you call them or you text them. I hope, I hope it's making sense. Scorpio. Very sad. Let's see. I still have time. Yeah, King of Pentacles. You know what? What I'm hearing from this person is that if I get a chance again with Scorpio, I'll do it all over again. And they will make it, they will make a point that um, they will shower you with everything that they weren't able to do in the past. Could be an ex, but it's heavy. It's a, it's a very guilty person. It's a very sad, guilty person, Scorpio. Yeah, sad. Anywho, thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming back. Thank you so much for supporting me. Private reading for the merchandise. Everything is processed in the website. And I will talk to you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.